Hello Pisces, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have engagement. Your love life is ascending to higher level of commitment. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today, Pisces. But we are going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Pisces currently view this relationship? So we do have the Six of Swords. We also have the King of Wands with the Devil. This kind of feels like an overall energy of somebody refusing to let you go, Pisces. Okay, I feel like you're trying to like move forward and move on with your life. Not only that, but I feel like you're creating a boatload of distance here between you um, and whoever this person is that's refusing to let you go. Is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. How does this person, oh man. All right, we have the Seven of Cups for them. We also have the Three of Swords for them. And then we also have the uh, Three of Pentacles for them. All right, so in regards to how this person's currently viewing this relationship with you, they're having a they're having a hard time accepting the fact that you're done with them and that you don't want anything to do with them, Pisces. Like they're having a very difficult time accepting that. With the Three of Pentacles coming out here for this person, like I do see this person trying to like fix things here with you or repair things here with you. Uh, and it is coming from a place of them not necessarily wanting to lose you, Pisces, but it just kind of looks like no matter what this person says and or does, you're very determined to um, walk away from this entire situation and, and never look back. But if it's one thing that I will say is that they have a very difficult time um, just accepting the fact that you are done and you don't want anything to do with them, okay? Um, all right, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get here. How does Pisces currently feel? Okay, we have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And then we also have the uh, Three of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords. You're kind of sitting in this overall energy of like, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Why can't this person just leave me alone? Why can't this person just move on with their life? Like, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Like, wh what, what's the deal? What's the problem here? You know what I mean? Um, I just kind of feel like because you're in this overall energy of somebody who's completely and utterly done with them, you just want them to kind of reciprocate that back to you in return. And because they're not doing that, it kind of has you in this overall energy of like, I just don't understand. I just don't get it. Why can't they just move on with their life already? Why can't they just you know, leave me alone. I don't get it. I don't understand, right? Um, I just kind of feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that this person has a very strong and intense emotional attachment to you. I feel like you've already emotionally uh, detached yourself from them and this relationship that you once upon a time had with them, but just because you emotionally detached yourself from this entire situation here between you and them doesn't necessarily mean that they have, and I don't believe that they actually have. Let's look at them. How does, how does this person currently feel? Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords aw, with the Ten of Swords. And then we also have the uh, Tower. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Cups, regardless of this person's gender. Male or female doesn't matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. But yeah, I was kind of getting that. This person has a very strong and intense emotional attachment to you. And because this person has a very strong and intense emotional attachment to you, letting you go is extremely hard for this person to do because there is a very strong and intense emotional attachment that this person has towards you. You don't have a very strong and intense emotional attachment towards this person anymore. Once upon a time, you probably did, but it doesn't kind of look like you have any sort of emotional attachment to this person anymore. So that's kind of the real reason why, you know, this person finds it so hard to let you go is because, you know, their heart's still in it. That's what it all boils down to, Pisces. Their heart is still very much so in it. Yours is definitely not anymore, but for them, yeah, their heart is still in it. Um, and this is why it's just so hard for this person to just 
let you go you know what i mean and move forward and move on with their life you know as if you never meant absolutely anything to them you know it's very hard for this person to do that pisces very very hard but i feel like you've already emotionally detached yourself uh, from this person you just want this person to just leave you alone and you know start talking to other people then move forward and move on with their life like that's just kind of what you want I just kind of feel like you're over this entire situation here between you and this person you're over it you're over it I wonder what they did to cause you to feel this way um, tell me more about the king of wands Okay. With the page of wands to the ace of cups, you're you're very determined to head towards the new. In other words, it kind of looks like your mind is made up. You're walking away from this entire situation. You're heading towards the new here, wanting absolutely nothing to do with this person um, to the right of me. Your mind is made up. It kind of looks like you're, you're done with this entire situation. For some of you, you could very well be deciding to remove yourself from this relationship because a lot of you may have felt like the relationship in itself was extremely toxic and unhealthy for you that's definitely a possibility but i feel like obviously something happened here that caused you to start harnessing this overall energy of like you know what that's it i'm done you know what i mean um so maybe they did something on their end because they are harnessing this overall energy of trying to fix and repair things here with you so maybe they did do something um, on their end to cause you to start harnessing this overall energy of you know what I'm done I'll see you later not really you know what I mean um, but if it's one thing that I will say is this Pisces because this person is still very much so emotionally attached here it's going to take some time nonetheless it's going to take some time uh, for this person to stop fighting for you and this marriage that they once upon a time had with you or this relationship that they once upon a time uh, had with you. You, on the other hand, you're just letting this go like nothing, right? And it's because you're emotionally detaching yourself from this entire situation. Not only that, but your mind is made up. You're heading towards a new here and you don't have any sort of intentions of revisiting this connection here between you and them. You just want them to leave you alone. You just want them to move on with their life and start talking to other people so that way they can just get over you already. But it, it kind of looks like they don't want to move on. That's the thing. It looks like they don't want to move on. And it's because, you know, they have a very strong and dense emotional attachment here towards you, Pisces. That's just what it is. Uh, what actions? Okay. We have the uh, Four of Pentacles. We have the Death card. And then we also have the Seven of Cups. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, possibly a Scorpio, strongly. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. It's like I, I just keep getting that from you, Pisces. It's like you're trying to figure out, like, why can't this person just let me go? Like, why can't this person just move on with their life? I don't get it. I don't understand. It's like you're trying to, like, figure out, like, what is this person's deal? Why do they keep calling you? Why do they keep texting you? Why do they keep trying to fight for this? Like, why can't they just let this go? Why can't they just let this go? Well, I already said why they can't let this go or why they find it so hard to let this go. It has everything to do with the fact that this person's emotions are still very much so wrapped up in this, all right? So even though you're done with them, their heart just won't allow them to be done with you, okay? Um, what actions... No, you mean a lot to them. You mean a lot to them. And this relationship that they once upon a time had with you, yeah, it means a great deal to them. It does. You know, what's interesting is that I feel like this person finds themselves questioning whether or not you truly did love them. Or, this, or if this relationship truly meant the world to you like you made it out to be to them. And, and here's why. Because this person looks at you like, you know, it's just so easy for you, Pisces. You know what I mean? To, to just let them go and move forward and move on with your life as if they never existed. So it does kind of have them kind of question like, damn, did Pisces ever love me? Did they really even care about me? Like, this, did, did this, you know, relationship ever mean anything to them? Like, um, and it has a lot to do with the fact that you're moving the way that you're moving. You know, you're, you're letting this go like nothing. You are. 
I'm gonna be honest, you're letting this person in this relationship go like nothing. And this person's trying to figure out like, how could you do that? How can you do that? Because according to them, not saying that this is true, but according to them, you made it seem to them like they were your entire world. That's how you that's how you made it seem to them. So the fact that you're just letting them go like nothing and, and you just want them to hurry up and move on with their life and leave you alone for the rest of your life, it's like they just can't quite comprehend why that is. They just can't, they just can't for the life of them. They cannot comprehend why is that? Like, why is that? Why is that? Because according to them, it's like you made it seem like you really did love them. You really did care about them. You really did want a future with them. So they, yeah, no, they can't fully comprehend why you're moving the way that you're moving and why it's so easy for you. Because it's not easy for them. So they're trying to figure out why in the world is it so easy for Pisces to just get up and walk away and just, you know, like, mm, it's another day. It's another day, you know, it's like they just can't comprehend it. They can't. And it's crazy because you can't comprehend why this person just can't move forward and move on with their life and just leave you alone for the rest of their life. You know, it's like you guys are trying to understand one another. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is I'm seeing. You're trying to understand, well, why can't this person just move on with their life? And I goes, I don't get it. Why can't they just move on with their life? Why can't they just start dating other people and just leave me alone for the rest of their life? I don't get it. Why can't they just do that? And their whole thing is, well, I just don't understand Pisces. It's like, I thought you loved me. I thought you cared about me. I thought you wanted this, that, and the third with me. And look at you, you know? You're just letting me go like I never meant anything to you. How can you do that? Makes no sense, you know? Um... Let's see what's going to end up happening here between you and this person. What's going to end up happening here? We have the, uh, ooh, okay. You got the King of Pentacles. We got the Seven of Pentacles with the Hangman. And then we also have the Hierophant. I wonder what this person did to you. Because I feel like you're drastically changing, Pisces. I wonder what they did to you. Because I feel like they did something to you. It's just kind of hard to, like, tell, like, what it is that they actually did to you. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what it is that this person actually did to you. Because I gotta be honest, Pisces, don't take offense to what I'm about to say, okay? But I feel like... Well, let me... It's just I don't want you to get offended by what I'm about to say, but... It's like this person's turning you cold. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. You go from a freaking King of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles to the Hangman to the Hierophant, and you have the Knight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck for you. That's a really nice combo to come out for a person. Um, I just kind of feel like you went from, you know, making this person, you know, your everything to just, I don't know, like flipping a freaking switch, Pisces, to the point where... Whatever it is that you went through here with this person, it's kind of, it's, it, it's, it's changing you and it's turning you cold. It's turning you cold, Pisces. It, it really is. It really is. This treatment that this person's receiving from you, I don't feel like this is the treatment that they got from you when they were with you. I don't. Because I feel like when they were with you you know you definitely did treat this person really really good you were very committed very committed and devoted to them in this relationship that you once upon a time had with them but yeah no that's drastically changing that's drastically changing this whole being the nice guy yeah it doesn't look like you're choosing to do that anymore this whole being understanding yeah it kind of looks like you're choosing to not do that anymore I feel like they did something to you, though, because this entire situation, man, it's it's drastically changing you to the point where you are kind of turning ice cold. You are. You really, really are. You really, really are. You are. And I feel like maybe that's what it is, Pisces. I mean, may, and maybe that's why this person has a hard time, like, comprehending, you know, like, why you're moving the way that you're moving. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that they clearly did something on their end to make you this way towards them. Now, I kind of feel like the main reason why you don't fully understand... Uh, Pisces where they're coming from as far as like the whole like why can't they just move on with their life why can't they just leave me alone like I don't get it like why can't they it just it makes no sense to me right 
I feel like the only reason why it makes no sense to you is because your emotions are not wrapped up in this anymore. That's why it doesn't make any sense to you. You know, why this person still keeps holding on and why they continue to bother themselves with this entire situation here between you and them is because their heart's still in it. They're still emotionally, you know, caught up in you and what they once upon a time had with you. Um, so yeah, it kind of looks like that's what's going on here. Is that because they're still caught up on you and what they once upon a time had with you and on top of that they're refusing to let it go um is why you know they're doing what they're doing on your uh, i'm sorry on their end um but as to why you're doing what you're doing on your end is because they clearly did something um on their end to cause you to act this way towards them i don't feel like you woke up one morning and you're just like you know what you know, I'm kind of sick and tired of you. Like, no, I don't feel like it played out that way. I feel like they did something on their end that has caused you to operate from a very um, cold place. Is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. But as far as like what's going to end up happening here between you and this person, I got to be honest, I don't feel like anything's going to really happen here between you and this person. Here's why. Because the two of you are not even on the same page. See, your mind is made up. You're very determined to walk away from this entire situation and never look back. But for them, it's obviously the complete opposite. They're not ready to walk away from this entire situation and never look back. So it just kind of looks like the two of you ultimately at the end of the day are not going to come together because you don't want to come together with this person. Your mind is made up. At this point, it kind of looks like there's not much that this person can say and or do that's going to basically change your mind. Your mind is set. You're walking away from this entire situation and doesn't look like you plan on revisiting this connection or trying to work things out here between you and this person and that's just that um but i feel like this person's gonna try their hardest to like try to fix and repair things here with you but from the looks of it pisces i feel like they would only see honestly they would only be wasting their time at this point they will only be wasting their time uh, at this point trying to fix and repair things here with you. But at the same exact time, I understand why they're doing all of this. It's because they're still emotionally invested. They're still emotionally invested. So, you know, by them getting up, walking away and just letting this go as if, you know, you never meant anything to them. No, it's it's not going to be that simple for them. It's not going to be that easy uh, for them like it is for you because you kind of come off to me as somebody who's already emotionally detached yourself from this entire situation. The thing is, is that they have not. They have not. Um, and that's why they're basically doing everything that they're doing on their end. All right. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.